bells. Jingle bells. No, 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 no. Three, two, one. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey. Okay, we're good for a moment. Okay, I'm cool. That. Uh, no, it's the intro. <laughs> Everything is recording right now. Okay. <laughs> so they sit down. Episode five, four, I four, think. three. Stop two, tapping one. the table. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Force of habit. So, mystery guest, Joseph Amendola, aka Jake. Call Jake. Call me Jake. Cool. We got our co-host Brandon Dudley, Morning, and myself. And we have Hunter behind the camera, so you can't see him because he's behind the camera. You don't want to see me. Doing a lot of work back there. A lot of good work. Sure. Uh, holiday edition sponsored by Budweiser. Mm. Mm. We have a new sponsor every single week because mm. you know we're, not, we're drink whores. <laughs> we still got the energy drink, still got the caffeine. Uh, not officially sponsored yet, but uh, yeah. So welcome to the episode, Jake. Glad yeah. to have you. Thank you. This is gonna be a good time. I'm already, already, I'm already having a good time. It's a great day. <laughs> it's a uh, nice weather out today, right? Well, yeah, it could be better, but it's good. Nice. <laughs> so, Jake, before we start, so we have a bunch of stuff going, but we kind of want to get to know you a little bit too for the audience. Sure. So, Jake, mm-hmm. tell us about your, what do you do? Current day job, architect, not official. I'm still taking my test to be an official architect. So, you, yes, you call me an architect of training. But, architect of training. Yes. I uh, work at an architect firm here in Jacksonville. And when I'm not all dressed up doing architecture drawings, I am lifting with you guys. A superhero. Oh, yeah. At night. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, architecture, that was my whole background in school, and that's what I really love doing besides lifting. Where'd you go to school? Uh, Scranton, Univer- uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Scranton, like the office Scranton? Yes, yeah, Scranton, like the office Scranton. Nice. Uh, the school was Marywood University. Um, they had an architecture program, just started when I was there. My fifth year was the year it got accredited. So, graduated, got the degree, and two years in DC at a firm there, and then I moved down here. Nice. Yeah. What, what made you move down to Florida? Yeah. Good question. Okay. Pennsylvania. Big difference. If or what? If you've ever been in DC, uh, the traffic is ridiculous. And Florida's better? Well, uh, <laughs> I guess it depends. Time. But uh, yeah, traffic was horrible, uh, cost of living was ridiculous, and you know, just here's a beach here. That's, That's true. true. A lot of people come from the beach. Yeah. No, no nude beach though. I'm looking forward to one of those. Yeah. And no I, nude beach, would you say? Oh yeah, nude beaches are. Good. They have one in Miami. Mostly old people, but <laughs> a nude beach. Oh, nude. I'm like nude. nude. I was like nude. Like, like is there? Are they making a nude beach? Yeah, yeah. Like, like like butt cheeks out. Oh uh, okay. Yep. I found one in Barcelona. Not the Jacks too. But I mean, so <laughs> let's dive a little bit into the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Did that pick up what? Was that clear? As a day. Super clear. So tell us a little about your powerlifting career too. Let's Power lifting. Let's get it. Let's get into it. How did you get started? Well, wow. that's a good question too, because I'm sure like you probably started just like benching like everybody else, right? Yeah. Normal bench. Okay, so there's a good topic to start right there. Benching. Where I grew up in Northeast PA, the big thing as your like social status as a guy, who's got the biggest bench? You know. Yeah. That's a like you know. This guy's benching 300. Oh, well, I gotta beat him, and that's how you were really ranked as you know the tough, tough kid in Northeast PA's. I'd be a bitch. bitch. <laughs> I'd be a bitch. Yeah, nobody even knew what the deadlift was up there when you were growing up. <laughs> oh, really? Because that's whooped. Yeah. Yeah. So that wasn't a thing. Uh, so yeah, growing up there, there was like maybe five guys in the area, and we were just constantly battling back and forth. You know, I started lifting when I was like. 14, but it wasn't serious at all. It was just like going in. Yeah, like YMCA, that's where I started. At a local YMCA, we would shoot hoops in between lifting sessions. And yeah, and then there was maybe a year that I just stopped shooting hoops. And when everybody else was in there, I would just go into the late weight lifting room and there's where it really took off. Did you, uh, did you squat and delt at all or just bench? Um, yeah. so I worked legs. I always worked legs. If I did any squatting at all, it wasn't serious. High bar is all hell. Like the bar would sit on the bone of my neck. I would never get it down. It was ridiculous. I would quarter squat. I didn't know what I was doing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, bench. Bench was always the big thing. My first big milestone I think was at age 16 I hit 
315. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> I just hit 315 last week. <laughs> you got two more years, but we're So when did you get the 4 or 5? 18. Yep. 18, it was maybe the first month or two of college. Yeah, you're 18 when you start college. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, it was oh. like the first month or two. It was in the gym at Marywood. And uh, yeah, I hit four or five for a touch and go in there. But yeah, so all this lifting, all, when all this is going on, it's not like I was following a program. I was just doing you know what I thought was good. And I had like a local coach trainer from the area. He knew what he was doing, but you know, like he wasn't like a really, really serious powerlifting coach. You know what I mean? I wasn't paying him. It wasn't something like that. So I had some tips and pointers from him. Yeah. yeah. So probably just like set, like set to five to eight. No hypertrophy stuff probably in that way each week. Yeah, yeah like try, try to go up each week. One of here, those here's, here's what he would do. Um, I don't know if you guys know of him. You could probably look him up. Look him up, and uh, you'll see a lot of information on him. His nickname was the Scranton Superman. Uh, That's cool. Chimesy Williams. That was his name, and he was the this big bencher, squatter, deadlifter, super heavyweight uh, back in 1980. I'd say. I think I'd have to do more research on the years. But anyway, uh, since he was from Scranton, my coach grew up, you know, knowing the family, so he would ask the family for his training blocks, oh, and uh, that's how he would get, you know, advice, tips for me. He would just follow his training logs and recommend stuff to me that he would do. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one week would be heavy, heavy, light, then it would switch light, heavy, heavy, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. I think it's the best way to learn, too. I think, like, most people nowadays, since information is so good, they get a coach so young, but, like, we were, like, kind of, like, I guess growing up, you just kind of kept doing, it's like trial error, just kind of, like, Learning as you go, you know. I, mean, I feel like that's the best way to actually, okay, actually okay. like once you get to the point where you have a coach and stuff to know your body. Like you don't really know unless you fail or something. It's like at those young age when you're setting the YMCA, yeah, just benching random shit, like mm -hmm. doing five sets of ten for no reason. It was fun. Just because you can, you know. Yeah. Just because you can, it's like you learn something about you. So yeah, even like if I'm that young, you know, I didn't want to get serious at that age. I was just having fun, you know. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to get serious with that, if those are your goals, then I highly recommend getting a good coach get it as quick as possible. Yeah. But that's if you're that serious at that age. Yeah. So when, uh, when was your first meet? First meet? 2017, I think. Oh, that's senior year of high school. Yeah, that's, that's not too far. 2017. Um, yes, it was definitely 2017 because I graduated college. Uh, my year, my degree was a five-year degree. So I graduated my fifth year in 2017. I moved to the D.C. area, um, and you know that's when I had like a, a set schedule. I'd go to work, I would go lift, work, lift, work, lift, eat, 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 sleep. You know, so I was actually on a schedule. So then I thought, you know, let's get serious about this now. If I'm on a strict schedule, I get serious. So I saw that there's a uh, local lifting meet coming up, and I signed up for it. And then I'm like, crap, I don't have a coach. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know any of the rules. I don't know anything. Yeah. So I just happened to stroll into one of the best gyms possible for this. Uh, SSPT gym in Rockville, Maryland. And it's like on the border of DC. Yeah. And the head coach is the national team. They own that gym. And the co-coach of the national team currently, my coach, Bill McCarthy, great man. Love you, Bill. If you're ever Shout going, out. If you're ever going to watch this, I'll send you the link. Anyway. Just this exact <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he uh, he picked me up, and we are best friends from that day, and here I am because of him. So. Oh yeah. What was your uh, what was your numbers when you first meet? You remember? Uh, I could probably tell you in pounds because I can't remember exactly kilos as much. Well. Nobody knows kilos. Nobody kilos. Yeah. Well, I do, but I can't remember exactly on that day what they were. Um, Five oh seven bench. This was as yeah. a this was as a, a junior. I was twenty three. So it was December, I think. Yeah, it was a holiday havoc meet. Maybe I could have. Like, it was a holiday it? havoc meet in December. Uh, Five hundred seven bench, six twenty three deadlift, and I went two for three on squats. So it was an eight for nine days, two for three on squats. I hit six oh six on my second, and I went for six thirty on my third, and I missed that on depth. Damn. Well, the only squat I've ever missed. So it's not close to that. One. 
I mean, what, what, what federal, was it USAPL your first one? USAPL, wow, always been USAPL, always USAPL. You yeah. know anything else? Never done anything else. I may consider it in the future, yes. but right okay. now USAPL is my home. Nice. Um, and you know, big props to my coach, really quick, because uh, when I signed up for that meet and I, you know, hired him as my coach, I never hit depth the day I signed up with him. I didn't know what depth was. I didn't know any of the commands. I signed up for that meet in October, and December was the meet. So from October to December, he had to get me meet quality, and he did. So. Props to him. Uh, shout out Bill, Bill McCarthy. McCarthy. Shout out Bill. Getthelift.com. Love you, Bill. Com. <laughs> it's not <laughs> a little inside joke, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. <laughs> so, I mean, it's only three years. You've done a lot in three years, too. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess so, yeah. The, uh, so, so, all those numbers total to 1747 pounds. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, because there's an up and comer in uh, USAPL Pennsylvania. His name's Sean Mills. You may know him as Weez. Uh, oh, okay. oh that's Yeah, yeah oh, Weez. Oh, 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 shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just hit 1742, so he's about to break my record. Um, and he's like, I think, 19. Yeah, Weez so, is young, man. Yeah, he's got a lot of time to break that. I mean, my first meet was 23, and then one month later I turned 24, so I was out. Yeah. So he's got a lot of time to take that record. Shout out. We use, we use, that's, we like, use. that's like one of the cool things about starting young. You get all those years to take advantage of it. Yeah. Like me personally, I started at 21, so I guess I get the whole junior experience. But there's some people that don't start lifting at like Jake that started lifting at 23, and they had one beat to be a junior. So it's like all the records you could set while having a coach and actually like performing mm -hmm. for a few years. I mean, you get better as you compete. Like, it's not like you're going to show up to your first meet until 1900. I mean, there's some people out there that might be able to do that. Yeah, it's just like raw strength. Years. But it's like, when you have that time, like, you're 19 years old and compete. I mean, we saw a kid at the meet we are just at, which we'll talk this later, but um, he was 13 years old competing. And it's like, I mean... He was strong, too. Yeah, strong yeah, kid. Strong, it's like, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody should start lifting when they're 13. But, I mean, props to him. I mean, the dude was... Proud of me at 13, 13 years old. I didn't even know there was competitive lifting at 13. Yeah, neither did I. I mean, yeah. shoot, when I was 13 years old, I was, I was still playing outside getting little boo boos on my dudes. Yeah. Well, I guess it comes down to like, did you have lifting in school? Like, was it like a powerlifting club at school? Like, Some high school do have that. Because they don't have it like everywhere in Florida. They have it some places. Yeah. It was at mine. I feel like there's more like, t like Texas is big about that. Like, Texas yeah. has well, South like, Florida school too, team, I think. South Florida? Mid Florida? That's like Mid Florida stuff. The South Florida is mostly like, stuff right there. like, you have like, you know, the normal baseball, football, yeah. basketball, soccer. We might have a volleyball team. I, there was not much power. Like, I didn't hear one of the theme team when I was in high school yeah. down there. I'm pretty sure Texas has their own powerlifting Dude. federation for high school. Texas has, like, everything. I'm pretty sure they have their own powerlifting federation. Have you federation. seen, like, Texas, like, football yeah. stadiums? I mean, Texas is huge, though. So, they, I mean, they have an access Everything's to bigger in Texas. Yeah, 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 everything's bigger in Texas. I mean, I found a fly there on the side of my shoe. Mm -hmm. I wear a size 14. <laughs> what? <laughs> true story, true story. Fly was huge. Punch. You wear size 14. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap. You know what they say? I have, I have really big socks. That's a that's a wide base for deadlifts. Yeah. yeah. That, that's why it's a lot of good foot contact. Yes. Yep. A lot of good contact. Foot, foot break down to so the So wait, wait, let's break that down a little bit. Do you ever have to pay extra for sneakers? Yes. Uh, right wait, now. The hardest, okay. Oh my god. Okay, so little size story. The hardest part ever is finding shoes. Like, I was like any any foot locker is clown shoes. Oh. Yeah, any foot locker, I think they only go up to like size 12. Like if they have a size 14, it's like somewhere deep in the back. Yeah. And they only have have one color. They'll be like, oh yeah, we have some black. And <laughs> that, that's literally it's like like I'm wearing all black Air Forces and people don't have to jump in the shit. But like I have to order carry boots. No, they're, like they're in the <laughs> size 14. Bro, I lived at Marshall's, bro. At Marshall's, I mean, bro, I mean I played baseball, it's like you find the cleats there. The size 14 and like size 14 and up for like 15 bucks, man. I get like green. The biggest fuck, bro. Yeah, it is, dude. Bro, bro, I would get green and white. You can use that as a weapon. You can take that off your foot. <laughs> you can use that as a weapon. That's a bigger than my foot right here. Dude, I used to like show up to Marshalls and people were like, "Yo, where did you get those Arachis, dog?" And I'm like, "Yo, I ordered them online. They're like 150 bucks. Wow. Fuck that. I got them just for 15 bucks from Marshalls, bro." <laughs> Top shelf, four, size 14, like bro. Size 14 feet. Yeah, that's, hard, feet that's hard. hardcore. Okay, bro, so literally my feet grew with my age from when I was 10 to oh, I turned 14. Shit. So I was 11, I was size 11. Hey, and you're 21, you're gonna, you're gonna you keep growing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be 
Besides 22 <laughs> next year. Let's break some records there. <laughs> hey, call me Shaq, baby. Yeah. Wow. Shout, shout out to Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal, oh, favorite yeah. basketball player ever. We'll send you this link. Definitely we'll send you this link. Send you this link. I, I know. I'm not going to watch Shaq. All 20 views are going to enjoy this yeah, no, podcast. I, I, hey, shut up. Hey, we have 160. Do we really? Yes. All right, all 160. Yeah. Appreciate it. Probably the same people watching on different platforms. I mean, why do you have to just always just, just keep refreshing the page? <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> what support, a support. Army. Dude, I mean, I'm just trying to have benefit of the doubt. I see a number. I don't see. I don't see a skin color. They probably all watch their families and shit too. So it's probably like more than one sixty. Oh my god, think about how many views are gonna be over Thanksgiving with this one. Oh shit. Hey man, you know why are you eating that? Well, it I, depends on how fast the turnaround is for editing. I have it up Thanksgiving. I have it up by tonight. My, oh, my ass, holy crap. Oh hey, man. shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, here, I'm here alone. I'm gonna be sitting in my living room, my robe, with nothing under. Just typing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back. What were we talking about? Right, so that's uh, I guess this turns to topic too. Let's talk about yesterday's meet too. So if you guys hitting the damn table, bro. <laughs> Sorry, it's the force of habit. Just <laughs> back the shit up. So if you guys don't know, uh, Brandon and <laughs> Dude, I'm trying not to. It's just heavy hands. I don't know what to do with my I don't hands. know what to do with my hands. <laughs> That's my best friend! Alright, so... <laughs> Save my best friend from the invisible fire! Brandon and Jake, they both competed yesterday in Jacksonville, Florida, USAPL. So let's kind of talk about how the day went, too. We'll start with Brandon. Ooh, ooh, wait, let's start before, like his weight cut and stuff like oh, that. Oh, shit, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm never doing a water cut again, first but of all. But that wasn't that bad. Okay, so... I wasn't there... So, okay, so I signed up for the 105 kg weight class, which if you guys don't know, that's 231 pounds. 0.5. 231.5 pounds. So if you're 231.6, you're in 120 kg. So, um... Your shoes probably took about a pound of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> you're 14. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> so on Monday, on Monday I weighed in at 239 pounds. Wow. So, I started the water cut, and I mean, it was absolutely horrible. I mean, like, it was, it got to the point to where I was peeing every three minutes, That's what and, and um, it's final. It was finals week, so I had final presentations. Yeah. So that wasn't fun. I had a presentation, I and go. I was there. Like, I I, bro, I was doing the two step. Like, like, I was there doing the Soldier Boy dance up yeah. there, giving a presentation about elderly doing strength training. And my professor was like, "You okay?" And I was like, "No, I gotta pee. He, go. He let me go." I'm out. Uh, yeah. So that was fun. But I got down, weighed in at 103.93 kg, wow. which yeah. I don't. Wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't nice. know what that is in pounds. 103. What? 93 times 2.2046. <laughs> 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 I was gonna be really fucking impressed. I was like, yeah, hey, man, that'd be really cool. But go ahead. But yeah, so I weighed in at that. Um, you know, rehydrated and everything. And yeah, it was a fun time. I mean. I mean, it's always fun, like, weighing yourself after, because I feel like your body, just like, for like, doing that water cut, you take, like, the water hits your tongue, and your body's like, oh, and you just inflame and automatically gain, like, uh -huh. seven pounds. Uh-huh. Like, it was, it was a fun time, man. I mean, don't recommend the whole week, because I've never pissed that much in my life. Like, being at work and just taking bathroom breaks every three minutes is not fun. It's tough. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, it was a good time. It worked out well. I'm happy. I was kind of stressing the last day. Because I weighed in Thursday night, still at like 236. What I tell you, bro? It yeah, happens. Tr trust the process. Yep. Trust the yeah. process. As long bro. as you followed it. You followed yeah, it. yeah. yeah I, I was stressing out. I was, I was 236, and then Friday I just kept using the bathroom. I kept using the bathroom. And I weighed in that morning, and my scale said 228. And I was like, oh, yeah, nice. Sure. See, you were crazy, right? Yeah. And that took a shit, and I was 222. That's a big ass shit. Hey, yeah, six, 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 good six, job, buddy. Shit. I told my mom right after. I was like, Mom, I did it. She was like, Good job. Did you wipe your ass? <laughs> shit. I <was> a small <laughs> child. <laughs> mom, I pooped. Did you wipe your ass? Oh, fuck. I gotta go back. <laughs> I wiped my own ass. <laughs> but yeah, so that was my water cut experience. Um, or, am I talking about the meat? No, I mean, you got any recommendations before we go on for anybody gonna do a water cut? Oh, I think Jake does. That, that's more of a Jake. He's my first one. I Jake more than that. Uh, yes. So if it's your first meet ever, don't water cut. Yes. Don't yeah. water cut if it's your first meet, okay? One more time. It's If it's your first meet, do not water cut. Dude, this is my second meet. This is my first USAPL. Yes, and he has a great background in the lifting, so he knew what he was doing, and he has some good coaching, so he could do it. So if it's good. your first meet, do not water cut. And But why? Why not? 
Well, because so there's a lot of stress that happens with that. In your first meet, you just really want to be focused on your best ability of the day, and you want to be focused on cutting weight. You don't want to feel like crap because you might if it's your first time cutting weight. You know. Yeah. So I mean, maybe if you have like a background in wrestling and you've been cutting weight, you might know what to do. Yeah. But you know, if it's your first powerlifting meet, you should just be focused on doing your best on that day. You know, following the commands, stuff like that. You don't want to be focused on cutting weight. So that's why. And, and I feel like, especially, I had great people around me. I mean, I have someone in the USA national, like USAPL national team to actually just help me out, like make sure, like, and then my coach Garrett over there, like literally, the, the second after I weighed in, I had both of them on my ass, like rehydrate, rehydrate, rehydrate. And I was trying, I was trying to get annoyed, because I drink all of them near a gallon and a half. And they're like, you drink water? No, I'm like, I drink water. Yeah, no, I can do it in five minutes. Like, Dehydration right? is... You drinking? Drinking? Dehydration is bad. It is bad. Your body's 75% water. So <laughs> if you go down to 72% water, you're gonna die. You no, know, don't, you're not, don't quote that. I'm sorry, you're not. It's a joke. Ha ha ha. But yeah, Damn. so going on to the meat, mm -hmm. so, that was it was a fun time. It was really good. Meet. I was so excited. Dude, great. I was stressing, man. Yeah, okay. Why are you stressing, bro? Okay, so I told you, I told you don't stress. Okay, so I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you guys a little background. So going into this meet, my goal was a total 1800. Excuse me. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> reset. Okay. So going into this meet, my my goal was a total 1800. Uh, my coach over here literally had. Third attempt set up to where I could touch. Eight, like he had different options I could choose for my third attempt. He was like, "Listen, you hit these numbers, uh, you like you total eighteen hundred. I think like squat was like six seventy seven. Bench, oh, was, yeah, bench was like what three seventy five, like something. Yeah, something I've done before. And then deadlift was like seven fifty. All undershot, easy to get. Back. Yeah, un undershot. Like he was like, "Hey, hit your third attempts, and you got eighteen hundred. So, what happened was. That's a cool, Yeah, what happened? So, start off with squat. Open air squat 620 in pounds, smoked it. Cool. Uh, two whites and a red. Uh, I was cool, good with that. Next attempt, bumped up to 661. Got three whites on that. 300 and kilo. 300 kilo. Nice. And then third attempt, I did, I attempted the, um, the lower weight. Like this is like the lowest weight I had to hit for my third attempt in order to continue to get to eight, the road to 1800. And I attempted 677 pounds, and I failed. Went so for it, though. you went yeah, for it. I went went for it for your max. I like my max. My max before on um, pound pace was 675. Uh, okay, whatever. We also knew like, like, like we also knew like the kilos might go easier for you. Yeah. To so, so, so we're like, okay. We'll bump it up a bit. Got down and good in depth. Came up. Got about halfway there. Tried to grind it out and just didn't have it. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll make up for it on bench. Now this was a fuck oh, shit. Here we go. So <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. That one. That's funny. This was <laughs> some fuck shit. So <laughs> I have never heard that one or used it. That's good. Start. <laughs> so, all right, get getting warmed up for bench. All right, cool. I'm getting zoned up. I'm have my beats on. Listen to my music. I'm, all right, cool. I'm go out there. And, you know, USAPL. You have a de a designated guy that basically hands you off. So I so I go to him. I tell him, hey, like I have a Titan singlet on. I tell him, hey. Put it right at the bottom of the Titan, like where it says Titan. He goes, okay, cool. I, I was like, I'm counting down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bro, homeboy grabs it and basically throws that shit at me. He benched it. He, was, yeah, like, he, like, like, it. Like, he literally benched it and put it at my belly button. And the weight literally just dropped in my stomach. Everybody's like, what the fuck? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Dude's looking at me like I said like you're wrong. And I was like, dude. So he takes it off me to put it back up. I'm looking around. Good enough that the judges noticed that it wasn't my fuck up, so they still gave me, I still had like 17 seconds left. I'm really looking at this guy, I'm about to argue, and Robert Keller, the guy who was like running the meat and stuff, he literally goes, hey, you have 17 seconds, hurry up. So I literally lay down on the bench, no art, <laughs> my feet are, I have no idea where the fuck my feet are. Like I'm literally just, all right, just, I'm like, just take this shit off. Just like literally just pick it up. I, bro, this was the most I've ever grinded now, 330 pounds. If you were an experienced lifter, that's something that would really rattle somebody else and like that causes failures on openers and that yeah. would be a horrible thing. Oh, Thank yeah. God you have a lot of, you know, like background and a lot of training. So yeah. they could stick to it. And, and plus, like, 
I played sports before, so I'm used to yeah, so I'm used composure. to shit not going right all the time. I played baseball, so like you, yeah. you, you do stuff wrong seven out of ten times. Cause composure. I was like, alright, cool, whatever. So, so like he literally takes up. I'm grinding up 330 pounds, which was supposed to fly. Like 330 is like usually fly. So I'm grinding this out, and then I get back. I get three whites, whatever. I barely make the time, and then I coach Garrett looks at me and goes, "All right, what do you want?" I'm like, "No, we're sticking to the plan." Like 363. So we jump 33 pounds. I jump 32 pounds. I thought I just grind it up 330. 15 kilo? Yeah. 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 Jump 15 yeah. kilo. <laughs> and <laughs> after I just basically barely got 330, 330 pounds, which I don't know what that is in kilo, I'm not gonna say. You would have missed that dude, that we would have had to like no, that, that, that kid. That would have that would have messed me up. And then like I grinded out the 363 and then I didn't take a third attempt. So already at this point, the plan to get 1800, I already didn't get two out of the three third attempts I had to get in order to get 1800. And so I'm gonna put this in perspective before we get into deadlifts. About a month ago, I tried deadlifting on Kilo Place. I was doing pound plates. Transferred over to Kilo Place, went to, a lo to like a local gym that was like kind of far, that Kilo Place, and I failed 770 pounds. On with the kilos. power bar too, make sure with, you know. Yeah, with the power bar, because the last, my last thing I did was with the deadlift bar. So I failed 770 on Kilo Plates when I got 785 on pound plates. So that was a big hit on my mind. So I was down about yeah, that. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was pissed. So like going into the meet, we didn't know what to expect because the most I've hit on kilos was about 740. So we were like, okay, well like 755 should be okay. But at that point, we were like, it was like I'm not getting 1800 because I already failed the last two, three attempts. I mean the last two third attempts. So we go into deadlifts. I start warming up, whatever. It's feeling good. Um, shout out to Food. He gave me some advice on deadlifts. Boy, shout, shout out to Food. Foodie's the guy that I told you that was like literally 19 years old. That I, think like, should, uh, I think we should. I think we should bring him to show soon. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that should but happen. This, this kid, like, this is the like, this is the definition of take all advice you can and just take what you need. Because this kid, 19 years old, just graduated high school, giving quality me advice. advice. I'm 21, yeah. giving me quality advice that literally helped me out. Like, just by standing, like, help me where to stand. He's a local legend. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's he's in February too. Yeah, he's so, in February. The one we're doing. But but yeah, so I start warming up with deadlifts. First attempt, I'm like, all right, we'll go 705. It's kind of like undershoot, somewhat, and it just flies. Like I mean, looks like a looks like a warm up. That's what you want. So I was like, okay, shit, hey, we might be on something. Mm -hmm. So we so like talk with Gary. He's like, listen, we're gonna keep the same second attempt. We'll see how it moves. Well, well, actually, before you go on, so we were we got we got we had the same attempt being like 730 or so, mm -hmm. whatever. And then we did that, we looked at the video, like, oh, maybe we should go up to like 740, 745-ish for the last one. Yes, I'll make it. I want to continue with that, bro. Come on, here. Cut. And we can if you want. Nah, you would get. Don't. Oh, we, we, <laughs> don't, we keep talking. Okay, because this is me. All right. Yeah. So okay. I'm like, all right, we so can always, we can always cut and see how things are going and then pick it back up. But okay, yeah, cut, cut, and then pause that. Pause. Like, cut and then turn that off. Yeah, maybe. Just do. Because, uh, all right, we're back again for the third time. So we're talking about seven, second attempt of deadlift too. Yes. So we put in 732-ish for the second attempt. Yeah. And we went back to change it. I was like, hey, I came back literally like one minute after. So hey, man, I just bump this up real quick. He's like, no. So oh, yeah. It's kind of being a dick. So the last one we had to jump, what, like 50 pounds? Yeah. So, okay. So, so you didn't want to bump on your second. No, we did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So reverse. So yeah, um, after the first attempt, Garrett already put in my second, like the second planned attempt because I was hyped from the first attempt that we didn't really get to talk. So um, second attempt, was, we already had a plan. So we've been going off the plan for the first two attempts and then going off here for the third. So for the second attempt, we already had 733 in the book. But then we looked at the video of 705 and we were like, yo, that shit flew. So we were like, hey, how about we bump it up to like 740 or 745? Do you want to go track? Yeah. So I tried to go back and go do that mm -hmm. and didn't let us. So I took the 733. Flew like I thought it would. Hell yeah. And then we did some quick math and quick math. And we basically three fifty five kilos, which is like three or seven eighty hey, hey, something. Hey, hey, Sorry. So we did some quick math. Quick math. And in order to because I was like, dude, I mean we can still get eighteen hundred. Yeah. I mean, because at that at that point, like I had a small time where I gave up on the eighteen hundred. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try to get these three deadlifts. Um for the record was like 749 for the junior, so I was like, all right, I'll get like 752, try to beat that. But then after the first two moved, I was like, yo, we still have like a chance to get eight. What I need to get 1800. So we did the math, and it was like 
776 for 1800 on the dot. So I was like, hey, give it to me. Garrett's bitch ass <laughs> goes up and basically tells him my third attempt, walks up to me, goes, hey, put your third attempt in. I was like, 776? He goes, no. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like okay, what is it? He goes, not telling you. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm sitting there, don't know what's on the bar. I have my, I have my earphones in. He was That's like, what Coach does. Like, he literally told me, he was like, hey, just like, he, he said it. And I quote, just don't stop pulling. Go for it. Just don't stop it's pulling. It's going to be a while. Yeah. You know it's going to be slow on the floor. You're going to be pulling for at least about a good five, six seconds. Yeah, so he, so he, yeah, was, he, was, like, he was like, he was like, lock in that hook and just don't stop pulling. Yeah. So I didn't know what I was pulling until I'm sitting there and they say bar is loaded and Robert Keller goes, Brandon Dudley with 355 kg. And he ruined it there. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise, man. I, 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 in my mind, I was like, 355 kg with a 782 pounds. 782, what the fuck? I oh felt. Good thing you got that, because you could have missed up. Like, oh, fuck. No, wrong did you one. just say that? Did you just yeah. say that? <laughs> and going back, I was like, damn, I failed 770 about three weeks ago. This is going to be fun. So, <laughs> so I'm going in there. I'm like, all right, deep breath, locking my hook. So if you guys don't know, my dad drove up for the meet. And you know, I, I already failed one lift in front of my dad. I can't, I can't fuck around. Like yeah. he drove five hours walking lift. This is my, this is my main man. Yeah. So I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. And <laughs> <laughs> and he, so we got mask on. So I can't, so I can't tell if he's smiling or not. But I see like the death there. So, so in so in my mind, I don't know if this is what he was thinking, but in my mind, I was like. He thought, hey, you better not drop this shit. So I was like, oh shit, daddy said you better not drop this shit. So <laughs> I, I walk over to the bar, I lock in, I'm looking to the crowd, everyone, yeah, bam, bam, yeah. bam, bam. I'm going bring it. I feel like I'm in that movie old school, where like Frank the yeah. Tank, yeah. Frank the, I felt like that, so I'm like, okay, whatever, lock in, start pulling. Ooh. And like, I'm telling you, off the ground, my thumbs were just like, ouch. Cause I pull hook grip. Is that, so, is that what happens? That's what happens. Like, you instantly feel the ouch. Yeah, like, yeah like, 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 you, like you feel it for the first second, then it goes numb. It goes, like literally, like your thumbs go, like once the bar leaves the ground, your thumbs go numb. So it was already the first pull, like, <laughs> like the initial like slack pull. I was like, I, I was already like. <laughs> Are you trying to icy hot? No. <laughs> so, so, while I'm, icy. so while I'm doing the slack pull, I'm like, I don't know if this is going to go up. But then like it literally shoots off the ground. Next thing you know, like half a second later, I'm like at lockout and I'm like pulling it up. If, if you you guys can't see this on Spotify, but literally my fingers, like literally the, my index finger and my middle finger were barely holding on to my thumb at the top. And I'm just thinking, bro, say no, fucking fuck. down. I was like, say down right now. He goes, down! I put that shit down as quick as I can. Look at the light, three three white lights, I go fucking insane. Yeah! Insane. Yeah, PRs. Let's go! I mean, because I mean shit. <laughs> after, like, after bench, I'm like, there's no fucking way I'm getting 1800. I trained all this time. 1806, right? 1806, yeah. I'm, I like, literally trained. Like, like, 1806. 1806.9. 69, something. But it, like, in my mind, like after bench, dude, I was like in the low part. Yeah. I was like, damn, like I did all that training. I hit 675 in the gym, only got 671 here. I hit. Three seven, no, three seventy five on bench in the yeah. gym. Only got to six, uh, three sixty three, and I was like, bro, like, I failed seven seven. There's no way. Yeah. And then after that, like, it looked fast on the video, which I probably could have done more. But like, it looked fast on the video. But if you guys see my excitement after, that was just because all the doubt I had in my mind going into that lift, like going into that lift and just coming out and still getting the overall total goal. Like that's just like an exhilarating thing. Like, yeah. at, like at that point, I was like, I mean, I was at the lowest of lows, and then just came back at the end to still get the total I, I wanted at the beginning. Yeah. So that I mean, that comes from I mean, good coaching, uh, good people around me, just keeping me. Because I mean, Hunter, who you can't see him behind the camera right now, but we can describe him. Yeah, but, him, but, yeah, but <laughs> very, very, very good he's, looking he's, guy. He's a, he's a good haircut. Um, <laughs> nice, nice smile. But yeah, like literally, he's yeah. healthy. <laughs> I had people like <laughs> <laughs> So just having people from the gym there, having my dad there and everybody just keep supporting hey, like just keep going, you still have three more lifts left, like keep going, you still got better lifts. Like this is your thing, this is like this is what you got. Like literally uh -huh. kept me going. And then I had a foodie there, like literally reminded me, hey, stay close to the bar, do this, do that, Gary reminded me, rehydrate. 
at, at Jake, like Jake was walking up after he just finished benching. Well, we'll talk about bench when he goes, but after he just finished. Going, I said I would flex at least once. Look at that. So after Jake Man, finished doing, like, his, like he, he's doing his meat and he's making sure I'm okay. So just having, just having that, Red um, <laughs> having that surrounding just really kept me going. Yeah. And put my mind in the right place. So I'm just happy I have those people and happy to meet with the way. That's a big thing too, because I know like I, it's it's very mentally hard like staying in after like how was the squat went, how the bench went. But you hung in there too. And yeah, I mean, right, everybody. Dude, I thought I was at the lowest of lows, and I failed yeah. my third attempt. Homeboy me- messes me up on the lift off. But after that lift off, I was like, my my shoulder felt like a little tweaked. I was like, bro, I'm so rude. It's very mentally hard to like be able to be tough enough to stand there too, you know? Yeah, man, you gotta deal with adversity in different ways. I mean, a lot of people they just give up at that point. But I mean, so, you can't give up when you have those people there. Let's, uh, you know, you played baseball, right? Yeah. So let's say, you know, this, I played baseball a lot too. This is like my major sport before high school. I wrestled in high school. You know, then I got into lifting after wrestling. But before wrestling, it was all baseball. Mm-hmm. Growing up, and my dad, he was like really close with me doing baseball. But I made an error. You know, you got to shake that off. There's another play coming up within seconds after that. Yeah. So you just got to shake that off. That's that play is over. You got to yeah. keep going. It's a whole another game. Mm-hmm. So you know, you learn from that. You got to just keep going through that. Yeah. You miss an attempt, that that that's done with. You yeah. Give it your all. You did your best at that mm-hmm. time. You can't have that affect your upcoming place. Yeah. Another thing, of course, like I want to say too, I know, I, I know, like I just started coaching, but I think it's very important. You have to like trust your lifters too, you know. Yeah. Like I give you the first, the second time, like you know, a third, like I'm gonna say we're gonna talk about it, and I'm kind of like I know you, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. trust you think too. That's why I give you think, okay, like that's why I put down to put down, you know. Yeah. Because I've been here, that's why I tell you because like if I tell them, I start to like think of whatever too. So yeah. I want to have some faith in you, trust you, and look, look up and up. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm super happy with. Yeah, stop putting the table <laughs> with how things are going. I mean, I mean, this goes back to like our last episode talking about dealing with failure. There's some points we had to sit down and reflect, and there's some points where you just have to like just keep going. And and I'm just <laughs> these guys. Um, I'm just happy that the meat ended the way it did with me. Love me. Love me. Um, <laughs> I guess I have to open one now. Hold on, wait, let me, let me open one. Was that your second one? Huh? Was that your second one, finally? Listen, man, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to be abused. I'm just here to have a good time. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's my existence. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But, um... Hell yeah! I'm just having a good time. <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean... Yeah, that's good. The meat... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the meat went really well. Even considering I didn't get my last two third att- I mean my first two third attempts. What you finished seven or eight? Seven, seven for eight. Which I think I thought about this last night. I was like, damn, what if I would have got that six seventy seven? I mean that would have been even cooler. Yeah. But so, uh, you got what an eighteen oh six total for your first meet twenty one, right? On yes. USAPL. My yes. first USAPL uh, meet twenty three years old, seventeen forty seven. So like, huh? think about that. You have a huge track meeting. Yeah, huge. Not what are you talking about? They only did eight times. Yeah. So yeah, tell them why. People go, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But here's the, so Brandon only did eight bench. total attempts because he said fuck the third bench, so he just went two benches. Well, I was like, like, bro, we knew, like, you went 10 out of 10 on your second, so why waste the energy? Yeah, because you know, like, dude, what are you going to get, like, two more yeah, pounds? Why waste the energy? I mean, yeah. Why you try it? Yeah. I mean, if you guys see, 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 see the video of my second attempt on bench, I mean, dude, I was at lockout for about, like, 12 yeah. seconds, okay. just like, get off, get off. Yeah. Like, I was like staring because like it got to like my left arm was not it wasn't locked out yet, but it was close to lock out and my right arm was kinda just there. Yeah. So I'm doing like a little shoulder shrug trying to push it up and stuff while I was trying to keep my feet was, butt down the bench. I was like, bro, I was like, oh come on. Yeah, after that I was like, yeah, I don't got a third attempt. But um yeah, going back, I'm very humble and very happy with uh, how that ended. I mean this is my first USAPL meet and I still have two more years left in the juniors. Bro. And I totaled 1806. You got a you got hella clouds too. Like before you even post anything, you're already at King Lifts. So. Yeah, yeah. This King of the John. King of J A W N. Word of the day, John. Oh, no. But um, yeah, I checked my phone like literally wrapped the meat, and I have like 147 notifications, and I'm like, what's it popular? I'm like, I'm like, dude, what's going on? And it was like, I was like, I didn't post anything yet. Like they can't be liking something, and it was just like. <clears throat> King of the Lifts, uh, they're just got called. Blake, Blake said it in, I think. Yeah, shout yeah, out to Blake. Blake, good job, buddy. Yeah. Blake, Blake has some good camera angles. 
I mean, I feel like she'd be a photographer. <laughs> Blake was like the most intimidating dude in the background too. Like when he walked in the room, room. So, Blake's like the biggest, so, strongest so, guy there. Did, did, to describe Blake, Blake looks like that one dad you see at a football game that should have got drafted, <laughs> but tore an ACL or some shit, but still big as fuck. And yeah, <laughs> he's wearing he's wearing a snapback Ford with with the fucking. Iron Rubble shirt on. He had to walk sideways through the door in order to get in there. Like, all like, the little kids were just like, oh, like, like, Blake walked into the room and you knew he had the highest total. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he didn't have to say anything. He, he was just like, you and knew I looked at him. <laughs> and Blake had the very like, southern oh, accent. There he is. <laughs> Blake, <laughs> Blake had the very, <laughs> Blake had the very southern accent. Yeah. So, so he walked up to me and Jake like, hey, bam, bam, hey, Jake, how y'all? Bam, bam. bam. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come here to listen some shit. I'd have to snap my knee real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so, oh, so that's the best way to. Where are you going, bud? That's the best way to describe Bob. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Blake. Shout out Blake. Mm. Real nice guy. Mm. Awesome dude. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, but um. So so before we get to um before we get to Jake's meet, no one cares about that. Yeah, no one cares. Bro, so let's talk about wait. I need to take a quick pause. I think this too. Yeah, me too. Sorry. Hey, outtake number three. You go first or me? Go quick. Alright, then the front back. Then the front back. Yeah, we're gonna go quick. Yeah, we're gonna go quick. Alright, so. So yeah, basically Blake has really good camera angles. All right, and now on to Jake. Jake, tell us about your meat. How'd it go? Mm, love meat. <laughs> love meat or meats? Meats. Meats. <laughs> meat day. Let's talk about it. Anyway, so for this meet, I signed up for it three weeks ago. I did not really plan for it, but you know, if you're if you're a power lifter and I've been established in the USAPL for some time now. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just constantly training. So if I had to sign up for me in three weeks, it's just whatever. I could do it. But, you know, if I did it at the beginning of a, of a, of a cycle, like a, a training block, you know, that, that wouldn't have been a good timing. But it just so happened to time out that I'm at the end of a training block where I'm near peaked. So signed up for it three weeks out. Let's do it. So um, heading into this, this meet, uh, the main thing was this. 600 pound bench, the 272.5k bench. Um, it's like a huge milestone, 600 pounds on bench, you know, you, there's only a certain amount of people that do it. So that was the big thing. Um, I didn't really want to go 100% on squat. I didn't want to go 100% on deadlift. It wasn't, you know, I signed up for it three weeks. I didn't really want to plan for it. Just, and the records, 120k, 120K records. Uh, I didn't cut weight for this one. So just want to go for those records. That was the whole game plan heading into this one. So, um, local meet too. That was also cool. Didn't have to travel anywhere. Yeah. I could wake up in the morning, have some breakfast at my house. What was your breakfast? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard that one, but our cameraman said, oh, God damn it. Because <laughs> I eat some stupid stuff. <laughs> like like, like some, some $2 stuff that you can find anywhere. Uh, pizza bagels. Let's uh, pizza bagels. <laughs> pizza bagels. You know, and they're they're quick. So what I like about pizza bagels is you, know, you can eat a whole pizza, but they're bite sized. You can shove a whole thing in. You know, you know. I'm looking into this thing as if I'm talking to this thing, but it's over there. <laughs> you know? Oh, fuck. Podcast pizza. brought to you by Pizza Bagels. Pizza Bagels. Yeah, they're awesome. Them. I love them. And you know, I've been finding out that they've been, they're offered in 18, they've been offered in 27, and I can't even track the amount that I eat these days because they offer so many different types. Anyway, Pizza Bagels, great, and carbs and calories. I love them. That was my breakfast. And I didn't have to cut weight. So I'm drinking water the whole time, I'm sodium. Oh, fuck you. Everything. I know, I know. That's what, that's what sucks when you're cutting weight. It, you know, I have had times. I've been cutting like the past four or five meats, and uh, I feel like I'm about to pass out. I want to die, or I'm just going to die. I don't want to die. I'm just going to. It's going to happen. Anyway, this one I didn't have to. So uh, I was eating. I had a great breakfast. I'm heading into this one. It was a local meet. I'm usually, you know, uh, my past few ones have been national. It's been the Arnold. There's a huge crowd. So uh, there's 
I would say there's some pressure, you know, there's a lot of competition. I'm going head to head with some big name lifters. Um, so there's a lot of competition in the other ones. This one is local. I'm not saying that there weren't really good lifters because I did. I had, I had some good competition. His name was Gary House in the 120. Big House. Dude, that dude, come on. No that dude, that dude. I'm sure you've never this. That dude was strong as fuck. Gary House. Uh, look him up because uh, he, he's, he's a pretty strong dude. Is he 120? Um, yeah, 120. 120. Yeah. He weighed in at 114. All the low, attempts were easy. Yeah, yeah he, had a good, he had a good meet. Um, and usually I weigh in at 105, so if I weighed in at 105, he would have been my competition today, and he's pulling huge. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I did have some competition today, so I really couldn't slack off, you know, not that I was going to. Yeah. But, what I'm saying is, you know, at a national level, it is just a different type of vibe, you know? Yeah. So, local meat, I'm not cutting weight. And my whole goal for the day is to really hit the 600 pound bench. Wow. So I was I was a little bit light, little bit lighter in the squats, you know, a little bit lighter in the deads, and the whole thing was the bench. So let's just talk about the bench. The So opener 255k, I don't know, 560. It's like 560 pounds. something. Well, wasn't your opener the American record too? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it was 25 pounds over the American record. Well, that was the final. That was the final. Yeah. The the opener. The old one was like 550, right? The sure. record is 253 kilo by Dennis yeah. Cornelius, my favorite powerlifter ever. Shout out. I don't think I'll send you the link because I have too much respect and I'm kind of embarrassed. To every <laughs> <laughs> but all the other names I mentioned, I will send you the link. So Dennis Cornelius 253k, and that's also the world record when he did that same press. It was Killeen, Texas, 2000. I don't know, 16, 15. That was the IPF record. Um, and I opened with 255. Uh, that opened as an opener should. It opened very well, moved fast as I thought it would. Um, next one was 10 kilo more, 265, which is the good attempt, 584 pounds. Yeah. Um, moved as a second attempt should. Everything was going well, you know. Uh, felt great. Handoffs were good. Thank you, Robert Keller. Yeah, thank God you got, you got a handoff. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, so, well, I mean, those spotters, they even mentioned to us that they were amateur. Um, we don't want to hate on them, because, you know, they were amateur. But they, should have, they should have some kind of, like, preparation they're for them. They could weigh 97 pounds. Yes. So, I mean, uh, as you're going to learn, this is a local meet. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what you deal with at local meets. You can't hate on them. Sure, the, yeah. Those are people that this is literally their first time doing it. So. Yeah. Um, and as you get higher up, you keep going, bigger meets, you know. You get better spotters, stuff like that. Actually, they actually start paying them, I think. Oh, Even fine. if they didn't there, they may have given them, I don't know, I'm not gonna get into that. But anyway, second attempt moved as it should. So here it is. I said, load it up, load it up, let's do it. 600 pounds to 72 and a half. You know, it, like, I wasn't as pumped as I was in the gym the day I did 600. Yeah. So we can always talk about, you know, I guess I can get into that after the meet. Yeah. Uh, gym lifts versus meet day lifts. Everybody knows it's different. If you compete, if you're competitive, the official day is different. Yeah. But um, I was pumped. I was. I had a great amount of energy building up into that. But it wasn't as awesome as that day because it was the first time I was hitting 600. It was the first time in the gym that I was hitting 600, first time I was ever doing it. And it was just you guys in there and you guys were screaming at me. It was so fun. That was yeah. awesome. Yesterday, meet day, I knew I was gonna do it. I had confidence to do it. And here I am, and you know, it all started out as it should. I get the hand out, it's out here, it's perfect, it's perfect. I go down, I'm squeezing it, gripping it, fantastic. Pause it, hit po uh, the press command, I go back up, and oh shit. <laughs> Why is this not moving anymore? Like, oh crap, come on, keep going. And it just doesn't. And I keep, uh, and I'm like really pausing it at this point. I'm like, oh crap, I don't think it's gonna do it. And then I see it going down. Okay, next thing I'm thinking about, okay, please save me. <laughs> and, and, and they're not, and it keeps going down. Oh, come on, oh, crap. And they're still not taking it. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to go pause it again. And then finally, somebody Kate takes it. It's like, oh, I don't want 600 pounds just landing back on me again. But yeah, so that's how that went. Um, it wasn't, it, 
I had it to about here. I thought you had yeah, it. Yeah, quarter left. It, it flew off your chest. Yeah. Too. There could have been some situations that could have been better, some situations could have been worse, but it is what it is. It was the attempt I had yesterday. I know that I'm going to put some more heavy.